chapter, Darkest Before the Dawn. All right, we are here at Suryu High School. And I think it's about time. It's about time for us to do the school story segment of this game. But before I do that, there actually is a side case at the school. I don't remember where this came from, but it's in here. Miss Amasawa has something to talk to us about. Amasawa. What is it you wanted to ask me? Well, it's rather a long story. Is this a good time? Once you start this side case, everything else will be put on hold until you clear it. What the fuck? It's that ambiguous? Well, there's no other side case I can currently do. So that's why we're here. We're gonna be we're gonna be here for a while. Doing the school vibes, right? Oh, let's see what this is about. And I'm gonna see outside counseling. So this is about my classmate. Actually, I should go get him now. Be right back. Nice to meet you. I'm Hisayoshi Shimada, a second year. I'm Yagami, the MRC's advisor. Nice to meet you. No. So, what exactly do you need help with? Well, Yagami-san, do you believe in things like curses? Oh no. The good old classical thing that anime even does. Is this gonna go into like the school like mysteries of sorts? I'm sorry, what? Just a preface. This case is going to sound either mysterious or ridiculous depending on your answer. Oh god. I know it's gonna sound crazy, but please, you have to believe me! Uh, just tell me what's going on first, then we'll see how it ranks with all the crazy things I've heard. Curse of the Amasawa Family Heirloom. Let's hear it. No. Would you mind starting us off, Shimada-kun? So, uh, it's about this lucky cat I have at home. A lucky cat? You mean one of those statues of a cat waving its paw? Or like an actual cat? The former, yes. They've said to bring good fortunes so you can spot them in all sorts of businesses. There are quite a few kinds. Most of them are said to bring good luck, but black lucky cats are supposed to ward off bad luck in particular. Yeah. Really? Didn't know they got that specific. Thing is, my lucky cat doesn't do any of that. Then, is it considered unlucky? It doesn't bring me money or good luck, it just attracts tragedies. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, is that kind of black cat you got? Don't wander under a bridge, or I should say, under a ladder. Oh, you got this thing. Oh, God. Oh, no. I don't remember the freaking anime I've watched. I would like to make a screenshot of it, but I don't remember what it's called. I know there's one of them called Nian Koi, or something like that it's called. Yeah. Something like that. It's unfortunate, you know? That <laughs> even this guy has this thing. I find that very amusing. This looks pretty old. My dad bought it from an antique dealer friend of his. Usually they're really expensive, especially the pre-war ones like these. Yeah, I just remembered the name of the anime, Nyankoi. Alright, I, I just checked it online just now. Anyways. But my dad's fan, uh, friend warned him at the time, this cat brings bad luck than good. The best anime that describes this statue literally an anime called Nyankoi. Which is pretty funny, actually. Because literally, the statue of a gun that lives and resides inside of it looks like this. But you're supposed to pay respects to it, but the kid destroys it on accident and then gets cursed for the rest of his life. And the curse is, if he doesn't help cats until they're satisfied, which he can like hear cats that speak to him and shite like that, the man gets turned into a cat, so it's pretty funny. 
Yeesh. So, why did your dad buy the thing if it's supposed to be cursed? He collects all sorts of rarities, especially the stuff with interesting stories. He goes nuts for those. Mm. Sounds like uh, an interesting guy. But yeah, a lucky cat that brings more bad luck than good. I admit, that's an intriguing hook. And Yagami-san, the curse or whatever it is, evidence is starting to pile up making it seem real. Ever since acquiring that statue, the Shimadas have been through an or uh, one ordeal after another. Like what? Oh boy, here we go. Like, some pretty scary stuff. My dad got a really high fever all of a sudden, and was touch and go for a bit. Our house caught on fire too. What? Wow, potential arson and serious illness. You weren't kidding, that's scary stuff. And my grades kept slipping ever since dad bought the thing. I'd never drop below 10th place bec before this. Alright, I don't want to sound like an asshole, but if you're going to blame a cat because you didn't study better or studied enough, I feel like there's more than just luck involved in that, and I don't want to say skill issue, but <laughs> something like that. Mm. Mm, that really is Sassy's fault, though. Well, you sure can't blame me for the ghost. One woke my dad up in the middle of the night, standing right there next to his bed. Eh? Uh, a ghost didn't. He was dressed like an old-timey soldier, and totally pale, just stood there like he was at attention. He kept moaning, Give me back my cat! My dad thought he was dreaming, so he rolled over and went back to sleep. So, was it just a dream? I don't know, but the next day, that's when he started feeling awful. It's like he'd been cursed or something. I see, well, that would be unsettling, even if it's just a string of coincidences. And that's still not out of the woods now that he's uh, now that he's healthy. Either he's almost got run over by a car a couple days ago. What? It's still going on? This isn't really sounding like a coincidence anymore, but I don't know what it could be. At this point, it's probably safe to consider further misfortune inevitable. That may help us determine the cause before any irreversible damage is done. I'm telling you, it's the cat! Well, you can't destroy it. If you destroy it, you're going to be cursed for the rest of your life. I just have that feeling. Mm. But you need to give it somewhere to be purified or something like that. Why do you still keep it? That is a good mm -hmm. question. If you're also creeped out by it, why don't you just throw it out? It's my dad. He refused to get rid of it. The fuck? He said the previous owner was this famous author who met his demise because of the statue. Bro. If he can say that, why would he want it? Does he want his life to be ass? So the statue was cursed even back then. Yeah. My dad said the guy died when he hit his head on it. <laughs> did he hit his head on it or did it... Drop from a high place and then hit him on the noggin. Like, from a high place. Because those things aren't light either, depending on, you know, what it looked like anyways. Oof. That's quite a story. Apparently, his whole fan base was obsessed with the statue. That's why it's considered really valuable despite the curse. Uh, Who's the author, by the way? Well, uh... Kitan Amasawa. He was a mystery novelist, and my grandfather. Oh, eh? Your grandfather? Oh, you said hitting his head on the statue. So the previous owner was your grandfather that died to a statue. That's a damn shame, bro. I don't know how that happens. That actually is a string of unfortunate. This would the actual cat that, you know, well, only if this is truly the exact same statue my father, uh, my grandfather owned, yes. Mm -hmm. You don't know if this is actually the same one? Well, my grandfather has been missing ever since he passed, what? He was missing when he passed away? 
Then how can you even confirm if he's dead then by saying that? <laughs> Alright. About seven years now. Hmm. Shortly after he quote unquote died, my grandmother pawned it off. She always thought it was rather creepy. I see. Can you tell from this picture if they're the same one as your grandfather's? Hard to tell from just a photo. This was also seven years ago. I see. But I do remember that the cat was cursed even back then. My grandfather was somewhat of a rarities collector himself. Of course, he jumped at the chance of owning a one-of-a-kind unlucky cat. Kitan Amasawa was famous for his somewhat bizarre tales of mystery. I could definitely imagine wanting a statue like this. My grandfather was quite taken with it. He bragged about it quite a bit when I was little. But I'm sure he never imagined his life ending because of his unlucky cat. Talk about bizarre, man. A lucky cat took the life... Uh, you mean an unlucky? Took the life of Amasawa's grandfather seven years ago, and now it's back wreaking havoc for another family. You got me, son. I'm not one to believe in the supernatural. All mysteries must be approached rationally, no matter how unusually they present themselves. That's what I firmly believe. Honestly... I've always objectively looked at it that way as well, honestly. It's just like, if you're someone who has a mindset of being able to rationalize your thoughts into reality, like you always try to bring actual real world stuff into thoughts that you bring up in your head, it makes it very simple to come to a conclusion when you really need like a good conclusion of understanding. It's just something I always do. So, I completely, firmly understand this. Because logic is always found at the true core of any mystery. Right. But that's also why my grandfather's unexplained death has stuck with me for the past seven years. This, I've never heard this music before. I don't even, I don't even, I'd never found this in the OST for this playthrough when I prepared this playthrough. Mm. I assume the police ruled it was accidental, right? If that's the case, it kind of sounds pretty explained. Hmm. No, actually, on the night my grandfather passed away, I also experienced a strange event. Really? One that had no rational explanation, but could only be considered a supernatural phenomenon. <laughs> really? What happened? I'm sorry. I'm not sure how to explain it. Let's just focus on finding out if this is actually the same cat or not first. I got that. Sure, we can do that. Rare for Amasao to not have the words. But this could be the actual statue that her that took her grandfather's life. I can see why it'd be so tough to talk about it. You got me, son. I'm getting to the bottom of this case one way or another. If something's causing all the tragedies around this cat, there's a good chance more will occur. I don't want anything as awful as what happened to my grandfather to happen to anyone in the Shimada family. Makes sense to me, after all. You're all about preventing accidents before they take place. Right. And not only that, this case is personal. I'm a so uh, So you got me, son. Would you please help me get to the bottom of this? Uh. Yeah, of course. The MRC's advisors got your back. Thank you so much. Well, to start the investigation, first things first. I'd like to see the statue in person. Hey. Good idea, Shamadakun. Do you think your father would mind showing it off to us? Ooh. Oh, yeah. I bet he'd be over the moon to have one of Kita <laughs> Amasawa descendants confirm his statue the real deal. Bruh. Give him a call now. Yeah, you do that. He says, yeah! He'd love to meet you guys, in fact. Good to hear. Where should we meet him? I asked him to meet us at, ca at the cafe near the station. Pledge. It'll be faster than 
getting him signed in at the school's reception and everything. Is that okay? Yes, that's fine. I would have felt bad asking him to come all the way here anyway. Well, I'll make my way to cafe now. Let's meet out front. Already then. See you soon, Yagami-san. This is cute. I like this. I love the school events, but I'm not trying to sound weird towards Amasawa because she's actually a pretty cool person, I'll be honest with you. She's like one of the people that no one ever acknowledged because she was different than everybody else. And she stands out because of her just standing her own ground. So I feel like people will gradually come to understand her, which is how I've kind of viewed her. She reminds me of someone after all. Oh, she's following me. I didn't expect that. Cause look at Amasawa running towards us. I didn't think she would follow me. Yeah, I didn't expect that. Well, already done. まあ、仕事だからな。ターゲットに気づかれないコツは何でしょう。私は気づかれちゃうことが多いんです。いや、なんでただの高校生が高校する機会があるんだ。事件の匂いを嗅ぎつけるとは、つい相手がどんな奴
Oh, a Jamin detective. This is just getting better. <laughs> the seasoned private eye trawling the seedy underbelly of the city. And with his underkind teen psychic. You really just had to say that. The wonderkind teen psychic, my guy. I already want to buy the whole series. Chill out. I don't think me and Amasa are going to go like that, but she's definitely going to be my patana. As you know, the Japanese lingo for that is for you know the side case. So whenever we do hang out with Amasawa, I'm really sorry about that, my dad. Let's head inside, huh? Bro, there's a squirrel right there. What the fuck? I swear, I don't know where these squirrels are, but I always end up finding them. And there's so many of them that I found to a point where I'm convinced that I there's some of them I just don't know how to do. So I'm gonna have to look them up. But I'll show those off when the time comes that we do them. It's going to be one of the last things I do in the playthrough after all. Yeah. Anyways, about the unlucky statue here. Yeah? Let me see it. Okay, it, it's pri primarily what I expected. I bought it to a tapping of that TV appraisal show a few days ago. They couldn't determine whether or not it belonged to Kitana Masawa though. But if it turns out to be the real deal, it's supposed to be worth 2 million yen. <laughs> what, 2 million yen? Yeah. I mean, considering its legacy, basically the holy grail to his fan base. Oh. But still, 2 million? Amasawa. You think you could tell if it was actually your grandfather's Amasawa? Please feel free to inspect it. <laughs> In that case, allow me. Oh. This deep red stain. Masaka. Wait, is that from when your grandfather... Oh no, it's... From when he splashed ketchup on it. When I was little. There's a ketchup stain that was never cleaned up. That's kind of nasty, bro. Ketchup? Yeah, I've been eating a hot dog in his study. Got ketchup all over the room. What? Well, eating may not be accurate. More like swinging it around like a sword. I was really into historical drama at the time my grandfather and I watched it uh. together. Sounds like you were quite a hell of a kid. But this stain, I don't know if it's anything else could make it clear to me than this is my grandfather's statue. Woohoo, I knew it! You can get millions for this? Seriously? Wow, talk about the score of a lifetime. But... I know what Amasawa wants to tell us now, right? Sorry, if this question comes across a bit strange, sir, but I must ask. Did this statue ever make noise, maybe, like a meow? Huh? Does my cat statue meow? What makes you ask? Well, the thing is, on the night my grandfather yeeted, seven years ago I heard it, this cat, it meowed at me. <laughs> so this must have been the thing she was trying to tell us, right? Are you serious? I was, uh, is it that supernatural phenomenon you referred to before? <sighs> yes. No. Could you give us some more details? Sorry. I don't know this must be heard, bro. Or this must be hard to talk about this, yes. I need to hear this. No, I understand we have to do it for the case. This is the first time I've seen I'm a seller like this. Alright, let's talk about the incident seven years ago. You said your grandfather's death was ruled an accident. Was there even a slight chance that it was actually a uh, crime? The police came to check the scene, but they said they couldn't find anything suspicious. Besides, it happened in a locked room. Oh, uh, that's... Oh, this sounded like a mystery. Like, your grandfather died in a mystery, bruh. A locked room death is some of the most intriguing things. I feel so bad saying intriguing. It's just because I've watched the Dog and Rampa series, and if you've either played it or watched like Consecrated play it, you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say locked room mysteries are very interesting. Not only was the door to the study inaccessible, but the crescent locks on all the windows were still secure. A locked room death and a cursed statue. This is sounding more and more like one of Kitama Sawa's books. Um, what's a crescent lock? 
they're the most common kind of window lock in homes for a reason. They get the job done. Doubt the windows were a point of entry for anyone that night. Oh, okay. Since the police didn't see any signs of a break-in or even a struggle, they really had no recourse but to rule the death an accident. But did they even find his body? Because you told me he disappeared that night. So doubtful this burglary went uh, gone wrong. Afterward, the unlucky cat creeped out of the whole uh, the whole family enough that my grandfather pawned our grandmother pawned it off. Okay. Unsurprisingly, the family lost track of the statue after that, so I never expected to see it again like this. The statue's meow. So you're saying you definitely heard the meow of a cat on the night your grandfather did? Yes, I have no doubt. I believed it was around 1.30 in the morning. I woke up in the middle of the night to get a glass of water and passed by my grandfather's study. That was when I heard a meowing sound coming from the room. Did your grandfather have a pet cat or maybe it was a stray outside the window? No. They didn't have any cats, and I definitely would have known if it was a stray that had gotten in. With Rompo in the yard, no cats could have gotten by without him barking up a storm. And I distinctly remember the sound being loud enough to come from the room, not from the outside of the house. Yeah, it is creepy. What even is creepier? I can remember. My grandfather telling me more than once. When a cat cries, misfortune comes calling. What? Your grandfather said that? I was given strict orders to never even approach the study if I ever heard a cat meowing in there. That's why, once I heard the cat, I ran back to my room and hid, terrified. And the next day, my grandfather was... That must have been so hard. If I had just been brave enough to go into the room instead of running, I could have, maybe I could have prevented my grandfather from dying. This is not even your fault, though. Nah. Don't even blame yourself. You were only 11, right? Seven years ago. Don't blame yourself for being scared. Please don't blame yourself. A truly artful detective can solve incidents before they even occur. I wonder if her grandfather's own incident has anything to do with Amasawa taking this... Uh, that saying so seriously probably Shimada-san, thank you for going out of your way to help us today. Oh No, it was my pleasure. Did you find any clues? Maybe even a lead now? Mm, unfortunately, I'm not so sure What the fuck was that sound bro? Nah, that can't be a meow, bro. That shit sounded so unhinged, bro. That shit sounded like a growl from the devil. What was that? Look out. Oh! Oh, hell no. Yo, that cat really wants you dead, bro. Ah, are you okay? I'm so sorry. Guess it wasn't secured all the way. What's that? The unlucky cat? No way. Dad, please. What's it gonna take for you to get rid of the statue? <laughs> Even I'm starting to get freaked out by this. That freaks you out? I heard you almost got in a car accident. You now... You know what? Hmm. Oh, you should get home. Thanks again for today. I was it really wants to say something. Actually, sir? Yes. Would you mind leaving the statue with us for a while? Oh? What? Leave it with you? Yes, until we can debunk the curse. But aren't you worried? This curse is starting to look pretty real deal to me. My grandfather once said curses are only blight to their believers. Did he now? Yes. He also said you must never succumb to the marvel of a mystery. You must keep your wits about you. Despite my age, he imparted his philosophy and mystery solving to me before his death. I hold the truth he shared with me in the highest regard. 
As Kitahamasawa's grandchild, I cannot back down to these strange events and turn away from a genuine mystery. I refuse to believe in this curse, therefore, it will have no effect on my pursuit of the truth. But still, this new music, dude. Not only that, this is a mystery that needs solving by an Amasawa. Oh, Amasawa son. When I heard that meow seven years ago, I ran from the truth, and the result was absolutely horrible. I'll never make the same mistake again. <laughs> you got me, she's sounding a lot like you, my guy. Okay, if that's the case, I'll leave it with you. Please find a way to break the curse before something bad happens again. Thank you so much, sir. Obtained evidence. By the way, I heard that you bought the statue from a friend who runs a second-hand shop. Which one would that be? Ibisu Pond in Eating Chill. I need to check that, too. Okay, got it. I'll speak with him now. Thanks again. I was, I was really into this case. Guess I shouldn't be surprised considering, well... I should step up my advising efforts for her on this one. Perfect!